Hi, I'm Michael. Have you ever thought to yourself, gee, I wish I had a robot that could shoot lasers into my eyes? Well, I sure have. Everyone has. It's an age-old question. Is there a god? Uh, what is the meaning of life? And can I have a robot that recognizes my face and shoots me with lasers in the eyeball? Uh, that's why I built one. So when you know you have the next great thing, when you know you have something that's just gonna change the game forever, you don't skimp on building materials. Do you think Steve Jobs would be where he is today if he made the iPhone out of plastic? Yeah, you'd, you'd still be dead, but uh, moot point. So some people have compared this to like the invention of the PC or like the modern database, but I like to think of it as more along the lines of the, the second wheel or like the invention of water. You can really see what I was talking about earlier with the building material. Uh, I went with something sturdy yet flexible, uh, lightweight yet robust, and retains the ability to dissolve in water in a matter of seconds, so that's always good. Despite the innovative design, I'm actually uh, not a mechanical engineer, I'm a software developer, but I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, see here you got your two servos for pan and tilt, this is the laser, this is just a cheap webcam off of Amazon and I rigged it up with that to take in power and the laser should, yeah, the laser shows up there in a second. I know what you're thinking um, and thankfully the answer is no, those are not my crocs. Uh, despite my looks, I am not 14. Michael, I hear you ask, how does a camera strapped to a pizza box recognize my face and shoot a laser in my eye? I'm gonna get to that, you impatient piece of shit. The answer is this, the codes, software, the part of this that I'm actually good at. Is that a Minecraft mod? No, this is actually useful. It shines a laser in your eye. All right, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I know no one really gives a shit, but I wrote it in C-sharp with WinForms for the UI and I'm using MGU CV for the facial recognition framework, which is actually just the .NET wrapper version of OpenCV. But, you know, no one really cares. All right, so as you may have noticed, it's nighttime now, and that's because facial recognition is, it's better with the synthetic light, so let's get it plugged in and shine me in the eye with a laser. We're just gonna start it up again and- I'm gonna, Oh shit! Activated. Okay, so I forgot I gave it the voice of the turret from Portal 2. Is anyone Oof. There? It was in an attempt to make it less creepy, but as you can hear it made can it like listen. 10 times creepier. Alright, I got it set up with what the camera is seeing on one of these- Ah, fuck! Lost. Yeah, so I set it up so you can see what the program's seeing up there in the upper right. Um... It's really doing its job of lasering me in the eye, which is the real innovation here. To my pleasant surprise, I found that this machine also solves another of society's problems. The fact that you're not seeing little tiny dots in your vision all day long. I didn't know where to go when I wanted to see little dots. Now I can't focus on anything. Ah. So I know what you're thinking. Michael, where can I get one of these wonderful inventions? I've seen perfectly my whole life. I want the dots. Uh, good news for you, if we get negative one likes on this video, that's not a dislike, that means if we like it so much that it maxes out whatever data type YouTube software engineers put in place to keep track of likes, and then it wraps back down to the minimum value because it's an integer overflow, and then back up to negative one, then I will send one to you. You know what? I'll send this one to you, because I don't want it. I can't see anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I uh, enjoyed losing my vision to make it. I'm not really sure what I want the rest of the videos on this channel to be like, but I'm super open to suggestions if you want to see more like this or more like in-depth guides. Like if you want to see how the software for this laser detecting eye destroyer was made, um, I could do something like that. I definitely want to do more videos like this, but I have a lot of stuff I want to talk about, so we'll just see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I actually almost forgot the best part of this, which was that I gave it voice commands. Command fuck off. Sorry. <laughs>